Welcome everybody, I'm here with the GeoGuessr news for November 2018. It's been a quite eventful month. Um, so yeah, let's get through it and um, I'm gonna see some diverse world places during the play. So, alright, what is that? Pretty obvious which continent, right? So let's start with the Reddit recap. Or first of all, let's talk about what happened during the end of the month. Or like, I think it was the 31st of October. It was after I recorded the October news when the game shut down. Or it, yeah, it didn't work anymore. And um, so it took like how many days was it five or six days or something like that that the game was uh, not um, working anymore and uh, there was a lot of speculation what has happened and if the game is even gonna come up again because as we knew the Google API prices have been increased uh, by like tenfold, twentyfold, I don't know exactly what it means for GeoGuessr, but like it's not just double price, it's like way more. So, and um, we kind of were scared that this shuts down the game. And uh, what happened is somehow that uh, GeoGuessr and Google, they could not uh, reach an agreement fast enough. So the game shut down, but in the end they were able to make a special price, apparently. We don't know what it is and if how, how much more it is than before, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be more than before still. <laughs> uh, if other customers have to pay like 10 or 20 fold, they're still going to have some quite a bit price and uh, they need to somehow at least to get their same um, success financially they need to uh, up their uh, income I think and yeah and that's one point that we have on the Reddit recap the new feature that was released like a week ago now which or like one and a half already I don't know yeah it's yeah it was one and a half ago which is the pro leaks it is now possible to do a league type of um, competition within the game client or yeah it's not really a client it's just the website um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Everybody was pretty surprised that this uh, came out, especially at this point. Um, because yeah, if they release an interesting thing, that means more people play technically. And that means the API prices go up. So that means they also need to have more income. So at least that's my logic. <laughs> so um, yeah, they released the Pro Leaks, but they said that it's gonna be free only for a while, was the wording. We don't know if that's one month, two months, three months, a year. We don't actually know. I could imagine that it's anywhere between one month and six months, maybe. Um, yeah, I'm pro probably they're gonna look at how the interest is and yeah and then add it as a pro feature. Um, so the, the ranking system works like you gain points according to your system. So it's like when you have 25 players, the first player that has scores like 25,000 points gains 25 points and the last one gets one point or something like that. And everything in between gets um, like 24 points, 23 points. So that that's a pretty good system for if there's a tournament with a lot of people. 
in my opinion, if you play with like just let's say your three best friends, like your four people, and you play several rounds, and um, then the this um, scoring system starts to show its weakness because let's say someone scores twenty five thousand, someone scores twenty four ninety nine, and the other one scores twenty thousand. Uh, that means the first one gets three points, the second one gets two points, the third one gets like one point or something like or four three four three two. So that means just being one p point apart has cost the second guy one point, but uh, the third guy only lost one point to the second, being four thousand nine nine hundred ninety nine points behind. So that's when it starts to show the weaknesses. So I'm not sure why they don't just want to count the points as from the scoring system. That's, uh, I don't know. Uh, and and uh, I hope they're going to put up some options for different scoring because, uh, yeah, depending on what kind of tournament and stuff, uh, yeah. It would make sense, but I I rather think that's not gonna happen. But it's a pretty cool feature. The one problem is like, let's say if it becomes only available to pro users. So that means we still have to do the tournaments on the Reddit because not everyone has pro. So let's say, I assume for the top competitive people, um they still have to do it uh using another source because otherwise not everybody can take place in the tournament so yeah that's kind of meh but overall i think it's a pretty good idea to get more income for the game because i'm cert certainly there's some will some people willing to pay if they can compete uh, against le like their co-workers or some something and just nobody else you can also um, yeah you get the link and if you just give the link to the people you know and you want to play with then you only play with those and no one else can just join the tournament so that's a uh, pretty pretty cool that you're kind of yeah you can play with trusted people and uh, not with cheaters uh, or like not everyone has access and uh, they also announced that there will be uh paypal payments possible possible in the in the future and that uh, there will be some form of daily challenge available within the website which uh, is uh, still very unclear what it means does it mean it's just a world map every day or is it like not the same every day or is it like what exactly does challenge mean maybe it's something completely different like like one one extremely special place that's selected or i don't know what they but so but yeah they announced that so we can assume that this is coming with the next update i think but we don't know if that takes a month, a year, or yeah, not doesn't happen at all. We we had stuff promised. I just read on Kundo that um, they promised two years ago, I think, that uh, they released the app also on, on Android, and they haven't done that. So you can't be certain. <laughs> So, okay, let's continue that. That's taking too much time. So that is probably Uganda or something in Africa or Kenya maybe as well. Oh, or Ghana, yeah. Okay, then we had the European League that concluded. As usual, Nidi wins the tournament. Topotic finishes a great second place. Mm, he he also was quite close to beating Nidi, if I remember correctly. Uh, Simi finished in third and Joseph and Michael finished in fourth with the unlucky fourth spot. But still a very good score in a tournament like this, of course. 
Um, then the next tournament has started, the President's Cup, which is a US tournament that's currently in group stage where all the players will play 12 different state maps uh, to declare who's good enough to advance to the sem uh, quarterfinals, I think. So that's currently going on and will be going on for a while. Then there have, have been quite a, new, quite a few new series on the Reddit. Uh, one was the A Rural World, which uh, also was started as a league in the game in the game <laughs> that was a funny pronunciation of league <laughs> I, d I don't know how that happened um so this is um yeah basically landscape casting without moving and the tournament is scheduled for 50 legs so considering two legs per week that should take about half a year <laughs> so yeah but it's pretty cool that to have a landscape tournament about, uh, over a very long time. So you can really, I mean, it's quite a bit luck dependent if you do just a few rounds. But if you do like 50, I really love it. It's great. So then the next series that we have is the one name five places. I haven't played it, but I think it's just like there's different kinds of uh, spring fields. <laughs> in different areas of the world maybe or maybe just yes or something like that and uh, five different names it's pretty obvious what what a pro what it is more or less then there is a nordic cities um series which is uh, european nordic cities i think so the scandinavian countries and uh, yeah like the far northern uh, up until Denmark I think that's where the southern border is and uh, yeah so the next one is the famous architects series there there is uh, I think it's done by Simi and he, he uses um, five different locations from w from a famous architecture type or something and uh, the yeah and those are displayed so basically how does this guy's architecture look like in five different places i think it's like that pretty cool idea as well so then we have the u.s state capitals not the capitals <laughs> the so i'm not sure what exactly it is if it's a randomized seed or if it's selected places so basically the state capital and so some place within there so that's how it is i never played it then someone started a i'm not sure if it's a series or not it wasn't um very clear until now uh, someone started something saying Australia number one. I'm not sure if there's going to be more. Uh, it wasn't announced in the text, but maybe we get an Australia series starting as well. Yeah, that's it for the Reddit recap. Then we have the Kundo recap, our fav public favorite. And uh, yeah, first of all, we had the breakdown. We already talked about that. The only other thing that I saw is the distance uh, problem in the leaderboards. If you have like, if multiple people have 25,000, it's not the one that has the least meters. That's the first one. So someone complained about that, which is, yeah, it's if you're a player that's only going for 25,000, that's pretty annoying. If you're not, I mean, it doesn't matter much to you. So yeah, depending on the player, it's it's an issue or not. So certainly not the m most important issue in my opinion. But uh, yeah, as I said, it ha it depends. What is that? Hey, they are burning stuff. I just click somewhere. Don't care. Just want to see it. Then um, numbers and uh, miscellaneous. 
So we had no new coverage, no new pictures after the big update last month. There were nothing has been added, not even some national parks or some small stuff, nothing. Then the w the play count on the world map is seven point le uh, seven percent less than last year's of this time period, November. Uh, so that that's pretty pretty good actually compared to the last months last months we or in october we had minus 14 percent and now it's just minus seven and we have to include that uh, like there were like five days from november 1st to november 5th that there have been almost no games played or no games played at all so Considering five days is about one sixth of the month, uh, that would equal equal to a to a plus of let's say one sixth is yeah that's like sixteen percent that means that means a plus of nine percent would be would have been possible. Um, yeah, so the game seems to be bouncing back a little bit. May maybe it maybe it's because of the season. We had quite low plays in this summer. Uh, so this year it seems to be much more uh, season based. Like in summer we did not have a lot of plays, and and considering that the majority of the players is from uh, first world countries and may it's mainly being Europe and North America um, yeah I could imagine that that's one reason for having a bit less place in summer when now we're, when it's cold in some areas uh, yeah people stay indoors so yeah and diverse world has all, like almost a like almost the same play count it's around 11,000 like last month um, yeah uh, mapper said that it's now in the it, it overtook another map and it's now even easier to see so it might get even more boosted now <laughs> so we will see but uh, so that's 11k. We have around 270,000 at world map. And that means Diverse World is still at a. Let's. Uh, yeah, like 4, 3 or 4% of that of the world map. So apparently, still most players don't, don't play it. And. I can only imagine that the main reason for that is that people don't know about it. Everybody that uh, watches like streams and videos or is active in the community knows it, but all the other guys that like just play at work or something, I think they, or, or also the guys that don't have an account, they just click on world and play and those are never gonna be visible, I think for those that don't have an account they will never know how great it is <laughs> so yeah but it's still it will grow for sure even more um, yeah and then for the first time in a in a quite a I think was it the first time since I since I've tracked the Alexa rank of the traffic on the website um, that uh, Geogesso has gained ranks. It went from 13,663 to 13,502. That's an increase of about 161, to be ex exact, places. So, yeah, so it, it's uh, going well right now. This month was overall pretty okay. Then the uh, I'm still waiting for the financial information of the year-end reports uh, for 2017. They're still not done, and I'm not sure why they're still not there because 
Uh, I think I checked the 2016 uh, numbers like about a year ago. So they should be coming any moment or maybe maybe they were able to get privacy on that. But I don't think that's possible in Sweden. Those stuff is very um, uh, open to the public in Sweden. So... Uh, yeah, the information should be really coming in the next months. I'm no, I don't know. Maybe Chiogesser, uh, they were not able to do it as fast, and they had to. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I hope we can see the 2017, because that that was when the game was really growing, at least for the first half. No wait. No, I think the growth was all the year. And so, because the earnings have already been pretty good in 16, I w I really interested to see the 17, and now in 18 with the API, yeah, it's gonna get worse, probably. Um, yeah, that's it for the numbers, and then there's the news on my own channel. So the stuff that I have planned for December is covering. Uh, as I've been before, uh, the President's Cups rounds from this tournament. I'm going to record this whenever possible. And I, I have also two rounds scheduled that should be up soon that where I practice a little bit um, for the tournament. I recorded those a while ago, but haven't released them yet. Uh, one is an Indiana round and the other one is a uh, a US cities round which would be the quarterfinal if I can qualify for that so yeah and then there's going to be more Mexican state challenges as there's quite a few to go the Spain region challenges have been uh, completed just a few days ago it is now I think everything is up on YouTube I think so and uh, in general I I have been working a little bit on a on building a a stock of videos <laughs> so that because maybe I won't be able to record for a while so that uh, I still be able to at least for some time to put out videos um, or like if I just able to do less videos uh, I can still release on a on a very steady basis and so I always adjust my ske uh, schedule a little bit like sometimes uh, it's like two videos a week sometimes it's four and and uh, if my if my stock goes down, I also I also um, start releasing less. So that's uh, kind of how I do it to be very consistent. Like not release no videos for two weeks and then release five. So yeah. And there is some two special things that I haven't been recording for a while. One is the daily challenge anniversary episode that's going to be released uh, sometime. I think ra rather it's rather in the end of December range at the moment planned. I think uh, so. Uh, yeah, like two three weeks ago we had the uh, so the daily challenge is the the daily world map challenge that's on reddit and it's been going on for like two or three years now every day and uh yeah it's supposed the anniversary it's just a world seat so and, um, if you wonder what exactly it means and then the very cool series and also very popular on my channel is the there was a new round of the parts unknown series which features the countries that do not have street view but do have photospheres basically and uh, yeah that is very tricky because it can be so many countries <laughs> as well 
and most of them are in Africa and most people don't know much about Africa so it's very difficult um, and it's also like no movement usually you can't move most of the times so yeah uh, we haven't played a lot of rounds here I kind of was so much into talking there was Ghana as well two Ghana in a diverse world scene so let's go through that uh, quickly the sun is uh, north again like in the last round so is that somewhere in Argentina or is it like Chile hmm I don't know oh what it's there really what the heck it's like that here like northeast of Mendoza on the 20 what it looks like a desert up here that's crazy oh what is that this is private property keep off so North American sign Mm, one of the flat western states probably could be like eastern Wyoming or maybe I don't know western Nebraska I don't know something like that oh North Texas Panhandle oh outside of Amarillo okay oh wow I've driven the 287 in here so I was very close to this place yeah that's how it looks yeah it's true so that was the diverse world so look uh, let me know how you like this video if you think something should be added to the agenda or something is not interesting or like is it too long is it too short yeah uh, I'm I'm pretty happy for for myself. I think overall it's great. Maybe in this episode I talked a little bit too long about some things, um, but overall it, I think it's pretty in a pretty good state this format, and I hope to be able to continue it. Uh, yeah. So thanks for watching, guys. See you then. Bye bye.